Hi friends, prepared suburbanite here. <clears throat> Eureka, it finally happened. We got a local excavation contractor to actually meet us here at the bug out location and scoped out the uh, um, the work that needs to be done. How he's going to come in and um, it, dig in a, a driveway and a pull off for us and all that. Seems like a heck of a nice guy. Certainly is local and uh, he's been in business probably 30, 30 years or so and he's starting to wind down his business a little bit. He said he's sold off recently a couple of dump trucks and all that and he's trimmed down from a high of 17 or 18 employees and now he's got six or seven so um, he's really just kind of thinning things down. He's been working quite a lot in town. He says he's got a lot of um, residential customers, driveways, uh, things like that that he's got to try to do before uh, really bad winter gets here. But he's going to squeeze us in. I had a budgeted amount <coughs> in my mind as to what uh, this could potentially cost. And it sounds like he's going to come in about a third of what I had budgeted for what he needs to do. Now, his availability is a little bit iffy because he wants to try to squeeze us in, in between jobs and all that kind of stuff. But he's got, he knows right where we are now. He knows exactly what needs to be done. And uh, so we're just, we're just thrilled that maybe uh, in the next six weeks or so, we'll have a, a place cut in so that we can get the Jeep up off the road and uh, um, start hauling lumber and stuff up here. So that's kind of part two of this video. Um, earlier this week, we, <laughs> we actually went to uh, Lowe's Home Improvement with the idea of buying a bunch of 2x6s and um, all that to, to start working on uh, um, f the foundation frame for um, our shed that we're going to put up here at the bug out location. And they didn't have any 2x6s. So the next day, we decided to go to um, Home Depot <clears throat> and went into Home Depot and they had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So I got uh, a bunch of 12-footers, which I thought would be the best way to, to really get this thing going. So the shed is going to be just under 12 by 12 by the time we get all done. I'm going to make it a barn roof style kind of a building, uh, seven foot walls and then up with a roof and um, in like that. Um, I've built, uh, I don't know, probably a half a dozen of those kinds of things over over my life for, for me, my dad, uh, for friends, um, under contract and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a pretty good idea how to slap one together. So when we came up uh, today to meet with um, the local excavation contractor, um, <clears throat> took time after he uh, after he took off to scope out where we're going to put the uh, put the little shed um, 12 by 12 for lack of a better way to, to put it and uh, so we've got that staked in we've got a really good idea of exactly where it's going to be um, located where the facings are going to be um, got it squared so we know exactly what's uh, what's coming. So this is where it's going to be. I'm standing right in the front doorway of uh, where the <laughs> where the barn roofed shed is going to go. Got it staked out here. It's going to be uh, just under 12 foot by 12 foot by the time we get done, and uh, going to have a beautiful view out the front and a beautiful view out the back. I can hardly wait. And. So for the balance of this week, I'll be working back at the homestead <coughs> pre-cutting all the lumber because we don't have any electricity up here. So I'll be pre-cutting all the lumber, getting everything all marked out, get the foundation put in just using uh, um, the 4 inch by 4 inch by 16 inch blocks um, to, to put in there. We're going to put a base of pea gravel in then put the... Uh, um, cement blocks down, level things up, 
get the foundation uh, uh, put in, get the floor joist set, get some plywood on it, and <clears throat> cover it with a tarp, hopefully for the winter. If everything works out the way it's supposed to work out, I'm going to be able to have at least the floor done by Thanksgiving. Because we live in North Carolina, we've got the advantage of having pretty mild winters, all things considered. Um, certainly not like uh, uh, Michigan or upstate New York or any place like that. So I should be able to do quite a lot of work over the winter time. January, maybe not, but long about the middle of February, it starts warming up around here and uh, should be able to get back up in here and finish up the shed. Um, my outside goal, the worst case scenario, would be to have it done by summer. Best case scenario, like to have it done before the first day of spring. So that's kind of our target. I'll be uh, providing updates as we progress along so that you uh, all can follow the uh, the building of our shed bug out location um, and so I invite you to come along I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers I've been very very pleased with the uh, real positive feedback that I've been getting and I hope you like these videos I'm gonna keep gonna keep this coming with the with the bug out location and the updates and all that and um, still doing some of my commentary on uh, current events and um, the whole prepper lifestyle. So if you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you soon. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always. Out for now.